Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Folks, th this investigation is about much more than punishing those who have done wrong at the IRS. And frankly, it's much more uh, about uh, additional scrutiny that those conservative groups receive from a government agency. You know, this investigation is about preserving our democracy, the integrity of our democratic election system, and the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Imagine just for a moment that a president and an administration in this nation that utilizes systematic power through an agency or department to suppress its political opposition. Imagine that such actions altered an election. Such an occurrence should be extremely unsettling no matter what party is in power. The problem is that without Ms. Lerner's testimony, this committee and this investigation cannot uncover the whole truth, which to this point closely resembles these aforementioned acts. The focal point of this investigation is to prohibit even the appearance of the IRS political suppression from ever occurring again. Just for a moment, I would like to reread the Oversight Committee mission statement that Chairman Issa does at the beginning of every hearing, because I believe it is vitally important in how we as its members conduct our business. We exist to secure two fundamental principles. First, Americans have the right to know that the money Washington takes from them is well spent. And second, Americans deserve an efficient, effective government that works for them. Our duty on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee is to protect these rights. Our solemn responsibility is to hold government accountable to taxpayers because taxpayers have a right to know what they get from their government. We will work tirelessly in partnership with citizen watchdogs to deliver the facts to American people and bring genuine reform to the Federal bureaucracy. Without Lois Lerner's testimony, this committee and its investigation are at a standstill. The American people are unable to ascertain their right to know what they have gotten from their government, and many questions still remain. Ms. Lerner claims she has done no wrong. She further claims if she testified, she would not incriminate herself. There is an ongoing debate as to whether Ms. Lerner waived her Fifth Amendment rights when she first appeared before the committee. I believe, much like my colleague uh, from Tennessee, Mr. Duncan, who reiterated this point earlier this morning, in the danger of the precedents Ms. Lerner's actions set, if every defendant claimed innocence and then proceeded to plead the Fifth, investigations and testimony would never be able to proceed. Every defendant would follow such action and our judicial process would come to a standstill. I hope that this committee and every single member will do everything in its power to seek the truth. Ms. Lerner's testimony is essential to this end, and I believe this committee has given Ms. Lerner and her counsel ample opportunity to come forward and avoid contempt charges. Yet she still refuses to do so. The committee's hands are forced, and we have no choice but to hold Ms. Lerner in contempt so that this investigation can give the American people what they want.